if a situation like this happens, corporate communications 101 teaches you that you address the problem first. First. Then you do whatever creative thing you would like. And that was the but downfall. You make your statement. That, that was the downfall of Chris Brown because Chris Brown took too long to answer, to reply. And so it's like your silence made you even worse. You know it was, because you could say, yo, I was mad drunk. Shit went left. X, Y, Z. Like, oh, okay, we get it. We understand. Yo, if we, under, if we, 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 we would have we understood. It would have been over. It would have been over how, yeah. uh, howsoever long. Like, we get it. We understand. Shit goes crazy. However, the fact that you're doing this and then she's saying, and she's saying, allegedly, we don't, we don't know everything behind closed doors, but like publicists were, were creating stories about her, right? To make her look like the to make her look crazy, well, I, 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 to make the black criminal. woman look angry, right? And and that's and and that's like the the peak of the nastiness for me. Right. It's because Meg literally had to put out X rays and doctors' reports and right. medical prescriptions. Are those for out? us to believe that she was shot in the fucking Dude, foot? Uh, can I ask you a question? Because I like I'm not I'm close to it, but I'm not like in the in the in the nitty gritty, right? So we have X rays that show Meg was shot in the foot. Yeah, she posted. She posted the pictures on her Instagram. That she it did, shows bullet wounds in the foot. That shows like bo- like bone fragments from bullets. From bullets. Mm-hmm. That's guaranteed. It's from bullets. Yeah, I, I'm getting to a point because you guys didn't listen to the album, so I'm, I'm getting to a point. Tori does not even claim that shit happened. Of course not. Okay, like so, like in his music, it's like somebody on Meg's team. This is how crazy it is. He lives in a, in a fantasy world. Somebody, like, if you listen to <laughs> song one, you will realize that his story is someone on Meg's team. He's in Munchkin land. Shot Meg in the foot. Oompa Loompa. Okay? <laughs> Literally Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. Shot at Meg in the foot, and they're using him to cover it up. That is his story. That is his truth. That Meg was shot in the foot, but it wasn't by him. Meg is abusive. That is his, that is his, that is, these are, these are, these are the narratives that he's pushing out. And, it's like, if the facts are showing she got shot in the... And he's also like, how do you get shot in the foot twice and, and no bones are broken? So that's why I'm like, yo, Tori's giving this story as if no, no x-rays came out. No the, proof like, came your out. Your foot is all bones. If you get it shot is the, all bones. If you get shot in the foot, a bone is going to break or fragment or split or chip or something. Right. But, it, but Meg is saying that, well, Meg, the bullets Meg went right put, through. Yeah, Meg is putting stuff up and, and showing x-rays and, and, and like showing medical jargon because... Like you said, people didn't believe her. Believe and her. I got to pull up this uh, this picture because, you know, all skin folk ain't kin folk. So there's a lot of people in our community that are, they're not like, they're not listening to the album like you, Josh, and like thinking, yo, what what is this nigga saying? Like, yeah. let's really break this down. They're listening to it and they're bopping and they're saying, well, maybe Meg isn't telling the truth. So this, uh, I'm not going to say what the person's name is. I follow them on Instagram, but this was their Instagram story. Drag the ass. The day that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kashima, Kashima was looking at that left corner to drag him. Yo, come I was to like, corner. I will, I will install my Instagram again just to get it. Just I know it. Out. It so, is what um, it is. She posted, black woman. She, Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's, and that's, that's the problem. She said, why is Tori automatically a liar and Megan is telling the truth? Women are the biggest liars ever, and that's proven facts. Also, why isn't Tori in jail or facing any charges for a shooting that he did? Even if she don't press charges, the state could pick the case up. Um, anyways, the album is fire, as it should be. And don't be upset that he wanted to tell his side through music. He gave y'all what y'all wanted. I didn't want this. Um, he didn't, side, he didn't give anything to Trevor. Trevor. Side bar, <laughs> <laughs> sidebar, him and Meg will be fucking again. So it's best we mind our business anyway. Thoughts? My thought of this is because when you do listen to Tori at first, you're like, yo, I swear to you, I'm going to be keeping a bean, right? I got text messages on my phone from my dogs hitting me like, yo, you listen to the album yet? Not on some like, yo, new heat just dropped, but like, did you listen to hear Tori's side? And I listened and I'm like, nah, man, I'm really not like I'm at work and I'm not really trying to jump in real quick. And they're like, nah, just like, well, when you get a chance, listen, I listened. And when you listen, you start to think like, yo, what if we immediately went to Tory? Like immediately just said, we got Meg's side and we, and we, and we don't have Tory's side. What if we immediately just chose sides because Meg was the clear, evident victim, right? So just, it made me even listen more like, okay, so mm-hmm. what is it? What happened? And then I'm like, fam, honestly though, whatever happened, it's messy. Both parties are wrong, right? Like 
But well, how are both parties wrong? I don't think both parties can be wrong when one person is with a bullet. Hold, hold on. Rock with uh-huh. me for a second. Yeah, that's why we are. Right? <laughs> both, right? Both parties are wrong because like it, it takes two to tango. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, yo, Meg was sitting there and and there was nothing. That, it never should lead to so- shooting someone. Mm-hmm. Right? It, it should never. But we need to know the truth. We need to know what happened before we can just go and say, this is this is what happened. I feel like. Because... Then, because because now it's this three sides to every story. So like now I'm like, yo, what is the actual truth? Because now you hear Tory's side, you're like, yo, it sounds nothing like Meg's side. And so now I'm like, yo, well, I just chose the first thing I heard, mm-hmm. which is evident and it lines up. I don't believe Tory's. I don't believe Tory's innocent. I don't. But I'm saying like, yo, I need to hear everything that happened because something, a lot more. We we don't have all the details. Is, I, is really what I, I think. I think the only detail I need is that Meg got shot. Yeah. I think anything that leads up to that is like. Yeah. And I know you agree with me on this because we talked about this. Like, yeah. there's there's no reason for a guy to shoot a woman. No, it's ne- unless it a never woman gets there. is shooting at him. It never gets there. Like that's it. And then even then, if she's shooting, you're like, are you sure about this? Okay, fine, I'm gonna shoot back. Pop out. That's it. <laughs> like you make sure that you could. <laughs> Did you guys hear how the shooting happened? What do you mean? The alleged, the alleged. So the alleged story uh-huh. of how the shooting happened was that Tory before he did. Sh- let go of the gun. He did say, dance, bitch. Yeah, yeah I saw that. That's, okay. That was sick. I heard that after I heard the album. So after I heard that, I was like, fam, I can't even... Nothing you said in the album makes sense. But the thing is, is like the album comes out, and even if you want to express your side of it through art and through your like through Tell your the creative truth. like side, you're like, it's, it's 101. As soon as these allegations come out, you use your social media for quarantine radio every day, put out a qu- quick tweet, quick post, say, yeah. hey, these, hey, like... That's my shorty. I would never do that. My fans know me. I'm going to fight this. That's all you got to say. Yeah. That's all you got to say, say to plant the seed of what really happened that night. This you know messy. what I'm saying? This got messy now. And, and he messy. didn't do that. And whoever's around him that didn't motivate him to do that needs to lose their now, job. Someone encouraged him to put to get off the payroll. 12-track album out. Someone no, nobody's like, smart. Some, listen, his team was like, fan, nah, put out that heat. And track 12? Nah, put, switch track 12 with track 11. Like, I'm telling you, like, there's people in his corner, and that's where... I got to that next that next point. Like hip hop is allowing this to be okay. No, it's not actually. I don't. I don't think so. I think the people around him that even even mixed this album, produced this album, edited whatever. Yeah. Like they those were either his yes men, his other oompa loompa friends, or they just like were in it to get a check. They were yeah, just they, they were literally COVID just money. they were literally just doing a job. They yeah. were literally like, hey, here's, here's, this here's, is the job on my inbox. I'm gonna take care of it. Here's That's the not deal, cool, man. Nah, here's the deal. He's so fucking messy, this kid. Okay, so... Me. Tory Lanez... First, when, when hip-hop... Hip-hop is getting a little bit more accountable. So Rick Ross actually got at him. Yeah, so I did not So I didn't, I didn't really... That's good. Read we everything or same thing. But Rick Ross, remember Rick Ross, like ten years ago, was talking about slipping Molly stuff in, in, in drink. women's drinks, she and now he's just know. like, yo. He and now he's though. like, bro, this is unacceptable. This is not the way you do it. This is not the way you handle it. And he's coming to him, and not in even a shady way. He's just like, brother, this isn't the way to do it, right? Fair. This is rose. So I'm looking at it like, wow. I'm like thoroughly impressed by this, right? However, when it comes to Tories, like you want to say sides of the story, you had ample time. So much time. To tell this side a of the story. A thousand percent. Eternity. A thousand percent. You had percent. ample time. And the thing is this, like if a black woman gets shot, let's talk about timing because we, we, we forgetting some things. A few days before that album dropped, Megan was on Time Magazine as most influential people. Yep. 100... And, and then this track, this album drops. That's why it's nasty. Right? The day before that album drops is the Brianna Taylor conviction. So this fucking kid has no fucking no, sense and no, sensibility. Yeah, it's bad people timing. doesn't have any sense and sensibility. And I can't rock with anything of that because you, you're not reading the room. You don't really yeah. care. No. And you have a, this Napoleon complex that is getting the it's best of you. Malicious. And as talented as he is. I don't think he's that talented. That's just me. I mean, I don't have any album of his, so. That's on me. Not saying it's not. Not saying I'm he's just, not, just, but it's like, like it's just, never been you my know, thing. I just know the Lord knows song on the Meek Mill album, and that's about it. <laughs> I don't. I don't go too far after that. But the thing is, this kid is wilding to wild out, and they're allowing it to happen. His camp is allowing it to happen, and he's the the whole victim and the sides of stories. I get that side of the stories things, but at the same time, this young lady's been shot, and she's been 
before even Tory Lane, she's been vilified, right? Because yeah. she's been like masculine. Okay, Megan the Stallion, she took it because it rhymes, but Stallion's a male horse, and they took it and were just like, you know, she's five ten. She'll be gonna laugh at her. Taylor Swift is also five ten, but no one's called. No one's like saying the same thing about her. You get what I'm saying? Oh, she's ugly. Oh, she. And I was just like, where you see the ugly at? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And but it's just just because they want to other her and think, and then she has to like deal with that shit. And now she has to deal with this oompa loompa, right? With yeah, all due respect, Tory Lane, whatever respect that is. No, no respect to Tory Lanes. Listen, yeah, like, like I'm over you. No, every everything you guys said is is gold. Like it's right, and um, that's why I felt like any, and I feel like list. I feel like listening to the album to see what he says is fine. As good as to analyze it. I feel like it's it's good to do that. Like I read the lyrics. I I just couldn't put like get myself into the mindset to listen to it. Um, but every it's a rollout. Like literally, his rollout is yeah. a a woman getting shot, like a black woman getting shot, and you being the prime person that everybody thinks shot her. That's literally what your rollout is. Anybody involved with the album, like I said, like they would just they got it. They got a call. Hey, homeboy wants to go to the studio. It's your shift. That's it. But I, you are right. Like hip hop is becoming more accountable. I haven't heard anybody in hip hop stand up for him. Any of our notable, no, none of our like notable voices no, have stood no up one, in no his defense. His side, no. The most unfortunate thing is that thing that I read before from that Instagram story of a black woman standing up and saying, "Oh yeah, let's get into that." This 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 shit fire. It's like, yeah, and and that's why I said you know, and her blaming another black woman for being shot. All skin folk and kin folk, and so like everyone can't go with us. You know what I'm saying? She's at the point where like she doesn't even care, and she's like, "Women are liars." She's a liar too. Clearly, <laughs> clearly, right? And we can say, but like everyone has lied in their life. You get what I'm saying? Women yeah. are better at lying. It is what it is. But in a situation is like that, this, the bar, <laughs> I guess. But it, I know, but like seriously, Maybe like we won't know. we'll never know. I'm not. I'm not responding. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like seriously, like her saying that is just like we're gonna have people in the community that, that's that think that way. That you know what I'm saying? It's not about Megan. You know what I mean? It's not about the abuse. Like if it was her sister or anyone else, that wouldn't have went that that post wouldn't have even existed. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But because she's so far removed from it and doesn't really care, you know, she's gonna listen to the fire tracks of Tory Lane. And it's not just an expression of how he feels, it's a diss track. Because he comes at Kaylani, he comes at J.R. Smith. Uh, he goes at. Um, oh, when I meant fire, I mean fire in her, in her eyes. No, I know, I know. I, I, I feel you on that. He went at this uh, this artist game Cash Page because they all took him off of their upcoming the albums and, product, is if and she, projects. Is never, if he if he never ever did it, like you know, what I'm saying like that's all of this wouldn't have happened. If he just would have said, if he just would have said something, you, like my thing is like Tori, like all right, cool, G, like I get it, bro. You you want to claim that you didn't shoot Meg? Tell me who did, right? You want, but then it's, no, but that's snitching. That's so, snitching. So, so, so that's snitching, snitching, right? But right. like also like snitching. But like I'm not. I, listen, I'm sorry, but I'm not having my name dragged down the mud because this. Like if I'm Tory Lanez and I did not shoot Meg, I'm not. I'm. I'm snitching. You know why? Because look at what I'm dealing with. But look at. But he's. I'm but, not taking on the kind blame of, of if, it's, if I saw somebody else shoot her. I didn't shoot her, fam. But the time that passed that we didn't hear from him, that's that's when that's, that's when that grave was getting that's, deep. No, oh no, he, he dug his grave. Every single week he didn't say something. Back. Oh shit, let me dig this grave a little foot deeper. And then that shit got six feet deep. We know he's only five feet. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a wrap. He's not getting out of that. No, he's no, not climbing big, out. Big fact, man. Like, that's my thing, dog. He dig his, he dug his own grave.